Welcome back everyone. I'm Steven here on Tiny House Listings and last week I believe it was I showed you a battery pack that I um, was given by a company called ChargeTech and uh, in that video I mentioned that I'll be wiring up my little micro cabin that's out here in the woods which I plan to spend a couple days a week at uh, throughout the week. Some people are under the impression that I'm moving in full time and I'm not. Uh, this might be a tight squeeze for me because I have a seven-year-old daughter. Um, but uh, um, today I'm going to be going through wiring up this place and then the very end we're going to see if the charge tech actually powers the whole place up so come along okay so here we are inside the cabin I actually have my tripod outside because it's so small to, to actually bring in here but the the whole uh, structure itself is only let's see at the top it's eight feet wide and at the bottom is ten so you get a little bit of a bump out at the bottom uh, and the width is only seven feet so it's theoretically uh, about 70 square feet uh, something the thing about a structure like this is that you're not going to be able to get a shower and a bath in here it's just too small uh, so in the future, I plan to have one long, I guess you call superstructure that'll have a bath slash sauna or shower slash sauna, and then a um, covered wood pile area for the wood stove here, and then outdoor cooking slash like kitchen area. But yeah, over here in the corner is where we'll be putting our battery set up. Uh, so the plug will go directly into there, and then we're gonna have two outlets in here for for power. One over here, and then one over here. As you can see, I've put Reflectix up everywhere along the inside to add some R value. Uh, but the good thing is we'll be able to put the junction boxes a little bit farther out like this. Uh, that way when we come back and I think you call them a junction box. Maybe that's not. I have no idea. But we'll be able to put them out a little bit farther out. That way we, uh, when it's time to actually put whatever it is we decide to finish it off, these can actually stay in place and we can slide it behind it. Piper, we're going to have electricity. We're going to have electricity, bud. Anyone who's ever wired something up is going to be like, man, this is basic. But uh, what's going to happen is, well, the walls on, on this cabin are two by three. So it's going to stick out a little bit, but we're going to push it back in there as far as we can and then then nail it to the wall. I'm not going to bring you along through the whole entire thing uh, on how to uh, wire this thing up because I'm sure there's a million videos on YouTube that'll tell you how to do that. But um, plus, I think it's safe to say this job is not going to pass inspection anywhere. <laughs> All right, took me about an hour and I got everything wired up, so I'll show you how everything works. Super simple. Got one plug here, and on the other side of the cabin, we've got a plug here. Then at the end of the cable, I just made a simple three prong plug. So the way it works, I just plug the cable into the battery bank and then turn it on. You can just plug literally anything that's 250 watts or less uh, into here. And right now it's very rudimentary, but as you can see, I've got a little LED light going. So yeah, that's just the basic system that I wired up here. Uh, the whole thing runs on this 52,000 milliamp battery. Uh, if you saw the video that I did last week, it goes through all the specs on this thing, but uh, really cool setup, very simple. Uh, this will be enough to power up all my lights, charge my batteries up, uh, computer, even run a mini fridge, like for the weekend. Uh, so thanks for watching, see you on the next video.